Hi, my name is Anne and welcome to Bigger Valley Shire Library's school holiday activities. Some of the things that you're going to be able to do is to make a seed bomb or make a bird seed or also do some potato stamps. So part of that, I've got a story to read and it's called We Found a Seed by Bob Ransden. This is us. We found a seed. We put it in a box to keep it safe, but it didn't grow. We played with the seed. We danced for the seed. We sang to the seed. It didn't grow. We asked the seed what must we do. We listened and we waited and then we heard. Plant me. And so we did. We dug a small bed and tucked the seed in. We heard the wind blow autumn leaves. Did the seed hear it too? We felt the icy winter rain. Did the seed feel it too? We were warmed by the sun in the early spring. The seed was too, it grew. And it grew, and it grew. And it grew. gave us a flower. It shone like the sun all summer long. Autumn came. Our flower died and we were sad, but it left us a gift. It gave us seeds and we knew just what to do. So our second story is Potato People by Pamela Allen. Every Friday, Jack's mother works and every Friday, Jack spends the day with Grandma and this is Grandma's house. They play hide and seek. They romp roly-poly on the ground, they read stories, they eat cake. One Friday, the clouds were big and black and the rain dribbled down the window panes and rattled on the tin roof. It's raining, sighed Jack. I know, said Grandma. And she went to the cupboard and brought out a big box and inside the box were four potatoes. I'm going to make a little potato man, said Jack. And I'm going to make a little potato woman, said Grandma. And they did. Got some wool, some pretty fabric, a bottle top, some toothpicks, pins with knobs. Grandma placed them carefully on the window still. There, said Grandma. There, said Jack. They looked pleased with each other, said Grandma. And we're pleased with each other too, said Jack. Then one day Jack and his mother had to go away for a while. That Friday Jack didn't come. He didn't come the Friday after that or the Friday after that. Lots of Fridays went by and still Jack didn't come to visit Grandma. Gradually the little potato people wrinkled and withered. Gradually their smiles drooped and twisted. Now Grandma called them the little old potato man and the little old potato woman. She looked at herself in the mirror. I'm just like them, thought Grandma. And she sat down and she sighed.
One day, a stork sprouted on the head of the little old man. He's growing horns, thought Grandma. Then a stork sprouted on the head of the little old woman. She's growing the horn horns too, thought Grandma. The horns grew and grew. At last, Grandma could bear it no longer. She said goodbye to the little old potato man and the little old potato woman, and she buried them outside in the compost heap. But Jack didn't know, because Jack wasn't there. Soon a shoot appeared above the ground, then another and another, and up they grew, up and up they grew, until they were so high that Grandma couldn't see over the top. Tambourines and trickle trots, exclaimed Grandma. At least one Friday, when the clouds were big and black and rain, and the rain dribbled down the window panes and rattled on the tin roof, there was a knock on the door. <gasps> Jack, rest Grandma, and they hugged and they hugged, and they played hide and seek, and they romped roly-poly on the ground. They read stories and they ate cake. Grandma asked Jack, what happened to our little potato people? I buried them outside in the compost heap, said Grandma, and they grew and grew. Let's go and have a look, said Jack. So they put on their raincoats, put on their gumboots, and went out in the rain to see. But all they could see were the stalks, now brown and dead, lying on top of the ground, because they can't see the potatoes underneath. So Grandma fetched a fork and Jack fetched a little fork and they dug and they dug and they dug. First Grandma found one potato, then Jack found two potatoes. One potato, two potato, three potatoes, four. Five potatoes, six potatoes, seven potatoes more, then Grandma. They found big potatoes, they found little potatoes. Soon there were hundreds and hundreds of potatoes. Tambourines and trickle tart tarts, exclaimed Grandma. When there are no more potatoes left to dig, they hung up their forks, took off their raincoats, put away their gumboots, washed their hands, and Grandma dried her hair. Grandma, said Jack. Yes, said Grandma. Let's make a little potato man and a little potato woman. And they did. That was a lovely story too, wasn't it? Well, you too could make your own potato people, or maybe you could have a go at making potato prints to make a wrapping paper for a gift or a present. Let's try, okay? Okay, now for our craft, we need potato, some cutters that'll be in your kit, a knife, so that means we're gonna need an adult to help us, and some different colored paints, and some paper. What we have to do first is get your adult to cut a thin slice of potato. 